Brave has over 20 million daily users, but most don't know of its true potential. If you want to get the most out of Brave, don't miss those six tricks. All right, let's begin with the speed reader. Sometimes when you read an article, the website wants you to create an account. Some websites even ask for money these days. You can get rid of this by enabling the speed reader mode. When you read an article, the option automatically appears on the top. And with this, no more signing up for an account. It even works on subscription based websites. The option should be on the top, but if it isn't, check if an update is remaining or force all articles in the speed reader mode in the appearance settings. Alright, if you're worried about all the internet tracking you, even while using a private browser like Brave, you can always open the browser in a private window. Here's how to enable it. Search for the Brave browser in the window search bar, go to the file location, right click on it and open properties. Next you want to add dash dash incognito right at the end of this line and click apply. Click OK. Now every time you open the browser, it will open a private window. If you're like me and don't want to be involved in all these crypto features, you can completely turn them off so you can enjoy a normal private browser. There are a few things you need to do. First go to settings and click on Brave Rewards. Turn off the Brave Ads. Second go to the new tab page and click on this customization option. Go to cards and hide the Brave Rewards card. Lastly right click on this rewards icon and hide it. You are no longer a part of the Brave crypto world. Alright experimental features. If you want to try new features of Brave that are not yet available for everyone, you can type Brave colon slash slash flex in the search bar and explore all the experimental features. You can also enable and disable some Brave options from here. For example, disabling the reader mode. Did you know that Brave has a spell checker like other browsers, which is disabled by default? If you don't use extensions like Grammarly, you must enable the spell checker option. To enable it, go to the settings and click on languages. Here you wanna turn on the spell checker. Next, choose the language you type in. You can select multiple languages. There you go, Brave is now checking for mistakes. Okay, we have covered 5 tips but there was no mention of cell phone. Don't worry, because this tip is for mobile users. Brave Mobile has hand gestures. For instance, you can zoom in and out with one hand by double tapping on the screen and swiping up and down on the second tab. You can swipe left and right on the address bar to switch between tabs. Moreover, you can swipe down to open the tab menu. Alright, before you go, I have some other quick tricks. You can upgrade all HTTP connections to HTTPS by enabling this option. Secondly, Brave has a search engine now, which you can enable in the settings. Thirdly, if you don't want to send any usage data to Brave, you should disable this option because the feature is enabled by default. Lastly, you can adjust the total number of ads you see per hour in this customization option. So these were the amazing tips and tricks. Please share your favorite one down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll catch you later. Take care.